Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here, and I wanted to make another video about Dreamcast Reproduction Disc, a great company that I highlighted in one of my recent videos, uh, Nights into Dream, and I'll link their information below. I reached back out to them because I wanted to pick up another game, but I also linked my recent video where I did a review of the Power Stone Collection and said, hey, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I really loved your work here with this. I think the, high, the quality of the disc itself is high. The case, everything about it just mirrors what you would think you would get with a legitimate first party release from Sega, right? The reproduction is just super high quality. Um, and they contacted me and said, yeah, you know, that's, that's great. I really appreciate the review. And he said, in fact, you know, if you want to pick up another game and you've got an interest in one on top of that, I'll be happy to kind of float it your way just so you can take a look at it, talk about it, that kind of stuff. So what I did was I picked up Alien vs. Predator Aftermath, which is a, a cool beat em up game. I'll talk about the game itself in a second. But because I love fighting games, I said, hey, if you guys, you know, are able to send me a copy of the Capcom Fighting Collection, I would love to have that. And they did that here. And so full transparency, this was a free contribution to my gaming habits, so to speak. And so I wanted to just kind of talk about this also uh, as sort of a thing here. And so with this Capcom Fighting Collection, you get Super Street Fighter 2. You get Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you get Third Strike, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and Capcom vs. SNK 2. So a lot of really great Dreamcast era fighting games on one disc. It's super cool. I actually have a version of MVC 2 from another re reproduction uh, person who does that sort of thing. And it's a really good quality version of that, but it's nice to have all of these games on one disc. And so... The reason that I want to talk a little bit about this is because I think if you're a Dreamcast collector, there are certain titles for the system that just cost a ton of money. Like, I'm not going to spend $200 on an original North American version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, I do have the first Marvel vs. Capcom, the Japanese version, because I have the Cheats and Codes disc, which serves as a boot disc if you want to play Japanese titles. So, I was okay spending that money on the Japanese version because the American version just costs so much more. But if you want these North American discs and your goal really is to have the game in a high quality uh, iteration and you want to play it on the original hardware, I really recommend checking out different reproduction options, right? It's a super cool thing. Now, you know, okay, so for Alien vs. Predator Aftermath, it's an interesting beat em up in that when you boot it up, it feels a little bit like a computer game to start out with, just sort of the, the quality of the boot screen and everything you get there. You get into the game itself, and it's kind of like a Streets of Rage clone type of game where you're playing typically as the Predator, though the, there are some other characters you can jump into the game as, um, and then you sort of go forward from there. Now, I will say that the game itself is extraordinarily difficult, like it's really hard. I don't know that it's a title that I'm ever going to play all the way through and actually completely finish and beat, um, but it is a cool one to have, you know, just on hand to pop into your Dreamcast and to play. And, and I love Alien and Predator both as franchises, so to have this type of mashup is awesome. I used to have Alien vs. Predator on Saturn, which was kind of a cool Doom-esque first-person shooter type of game. This is kind of a cool beat-em-up clone, as I mentioned just a little while ago. And again, the quality of the reproduction itself is really, really awesome. So when you open the case, again, you've got the... Capcom Edge wording, you know, to make it look like a real uh, production you would get or a real title you would get first party from Sega. Again, the quality of the disc itself, you can see it's just really well printed, really easy to see. Uh, even the information on the back, just sort of the detail you get there, it's just really great. So if you like beat em ups, I think this is a cool one to have in your collection. Now, again, as a game itself, it's so punishing. <laughs> I think you're just being swarmed by aliens all the time. And all you can really do is spam certain punch and kick and attack types of buttons that it gets to be a little bit much. I think the mechanics of the game itself could be a little bit better. That's nothing to do with, you know, Nice into Dream. And because they're not making the game, they're giving you a high quality reproduction of it. But as a game, I think it's okay. But if you like beat em ups, you like Alien vs. Predator, and you want to have just this in your collection, you could do a lot worse than getting it in this iteration. So really high quality, really nice to see it. This is super awesome. Um, I love fighting games. You know, I've, I've talked about that on the channel before. In fact, I'm playing Tekken 8 right now. I'm not great at it at all. I used to be really great at fighting games. Like, I can still play Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with my kids. We did that not long ago. They really got into it. Um, and I love that. I'm still really good at that game. After all these years, I had it on Dreamcast originally when it came out in about 2000, 2001, whatever year that was. It's kind of like the muscle memory still exists, but love that. Love the Street Fighter games. This one is just huge bang for your buck. I mean, just again, the quality of this is amazing. The disc itself is actually in my Dreamcast right now. I didn't get it out before I made the video. But again, you can see the quality of the case. You can see on the back uh, just how quality 
the printing is there as well. And one thing to note with each of these games, and I think I talked about this with the Power Stone collection, you also get a little game card, which is really super cool. So if you collect that kind of stuff, it's nice to have that in the collection also. So, you know, when I think about the more expensive Dreamcast titles that I'm just not going to, like Cannon Spike, Ill Bleed, some of these ones that just cost, you know, buku amounts of money, I'm not going to get the original title and spend that much. These reproduction routes are really great. So, again, these are just my unfiltered, you know, unbiased thoughts uh, just based on a company that I've come to admire and how much effort and work they put into these. Um, but this is a great route to go if you want uh, an alternative as opposed to paying the full price for the, the the games themselves, you know, in a loose version or a complete in box version, whatever, from eBay or somewhere like that. So, you know, there are other reproduction companies out there. Um, Phoenix Down Gaming is another good one. If you ever get onto Etsy, that's where I got my other version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But uh, nice and a dream. Really good stuff here. This is a great, especially if you're a fighting fan, a great one to have in your collection. Definitely recommend checking them out. But anyway, if you've got some good reproductions that you sort of lean on and really uh, enjoy and appreciate, let me know about that down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll check back in soon.